self-esteem show. Today we are going to talk about Sompak. If you can beat them, join them. In our international business life, we will study this um, interesting case of Sompak that is a very important uh, firm uh, from Turkey. Today I will invite two important workers of this company. So please welcome Karol and Maria Paula. So, hello, welcome to my show. Hello, I'm very thank glad. You very much. I'm very glad to have you here. <clears throat> Today we are going to talk about this interesting case and the main topic is competitiveness around the world. Because with Sompak we will see how competitiveness uh, make a company take wrong decisions and uh, go into a bad path. We will be talking about Sompak a Turkish manufacturer of, co of cosmetics, packaging products that have been facing enormous problems because of low cost competitiveness uh, competition from Chinese manufacturers. Due to cost competition, um, there was another aspect in, in, this, in this area that was quality, because competing against price made the company to lower the quality and compete in these two aspects. Sompak could not compete based uh, on price while maintaining the quality on, of their products and processes. That's why they needed to revise their corporate strategy to focus primarily on cutting costs and not changing quality. That was the main characteristics they had. Now, talking about Sompak, it started as a small uh, workshop in the 1960s in Turkey, making injection for plastic products. They have innovation, quality and customer service as the main characteristics of their management as key aspects in the company and they maintain strong relationships um, with the management and the highest, at the highest levels being the customer the base of their, of their production and their strategy. In 1980s, international cosmetic giants wanted to expand and enter into new countries seeing Turkey as a very uh, good opportunity, needing local partners in order to enter. Uh, and in this way, they made a joint venture 50-50 with um, Sompak, uh, making this enterprise to grow. At the beginning, it was a very easy idea, a very easy task, but then uh, they started asking for Sompak for very difficult things that they couldn't afford, making the multinational to buy uh, a share from the company. With this big opportunity, Sompak moved into the field and quickly became the largest manufacturer of plastics and metals cosmetic packaging in Turkey. Sompak was a family-owned group that had an increased focus on export, learning from other markets such as US, because uh, some of the family that uh, belonged the company went to the US market to see how it was working in, in order to implement those ideas in, in the Turkish market. With this, they also obtained relevant certifica certifications such as ESO 1901. Uh, now, uh, our two guests will talk about the new competition that was uh, born in this new competitive and globalized market and they will explain uh, all the competition they had having as a first rival ch China because China was producing many, many products in lower costs and selling them in, in lower prices uh, increasing the competition. So, for gaining more clients, Sompak management visit the United States to meet potential uh, customers, customers directly in order to sell direct because they had some uh, third companies that were selling the products and, the, and they didn't gain that money. And when they uh, knew this thing, they wanted to change, but the price the customer uh, the customers were willing to pay was really, really low, so they had to change their strategy and they learned from the Chinese manufacturers that they have to sell products in a lower in lower prices um, and high volumes, that was what the uh, US was expecting. So here, the first challenge the company had it was to find ways to increase their capacity, reducing labor costs and maintaining quality. Now, my um, honorary guest, Maria Paula, will, will tell us about how they start all this process of competitiveness. Okay, Hortensia, as you say, the, the company has uh, been facing a number of uh, critical um, situations 
And all this began with, with the product assembly. This is a critical part of the production, a critical <coughs> area, and in which the lipstick uh, measurements uh, was on the high volume component. Uh, it has to be used in, in every type of lipstick. So the manual assembly by that time uh, was a multi-steps um, process. Uh, it was um, easy to use or, or apply and, and the company wanted to simplify this, this process. So uh, the company uh, bought um, a, a machine uh, from the United Kingdom uh, with the aim to replace uh, 10 workers and also to reduce the defect rate. Uh, but what happened was completely the opposite because um, this machine uh, didn't match with the, with the process and, um, and several like, uh, problems uh, follow this, this, this machine. Uh, as uh, the material cost increased and the labor cost and also uh, it needed a frequent support so a special operator and technician uh, were needed. Uh, the machine only uh, replaced three workers, workers of the 10 that uh, the CEO was aiming to, to replace and um, uh, also the company and wanted to really redesign the parts of assembly to like fix this problem, but it didn't work. Uh, in 2009, Sompact uh, also decided to install an ERP uh, system and the price resource planning uh, to integrate operations from order placement to, to the shipment, but uh, the company was looking for the cheapest in the market, the cheapest a package of ERP in the market uh, with the same functionality as the expensive ones but um, as we know not all the things that are cheap are good so uh, this this new acquisition was really crazy because uh, the company was producing more quantities of what uh, they, they already have in the stock or the, the system uh, say that uh, it was enough uh, raw materials for a new production, but it was uh, it was missing the the material. Uh, so they have um, they had difficulty pricing products. Uh, they start to have uh, delays and quality problems. And uh, what is more important is that they start to lose uh, clients and also potential, so the, the new clients didn't want to, to try this brand uh, because of these problems. Well, also for continuing talking about uh, what Maria Paula was saying, in the company, uh, the CEO identified that assembly for cosmetics was, for cosmetics was like the principal bottleneck of the company. And uh, that's why they also decided to diversify or diversify their product lines. However, um, this, this diversification and uh, like the solution for this bottleneck um, is something very expensive and laborious and and like um, a very very slow process. So um, the company had to enhance molding capabilities. Uh, so uh, some pack focus on high volume. Press and sell products and also uh, work a lot in the improvement of delivery times. This company, for all of the things they wanted to do, they had very short uh, capital to invest on that and that's why the company decided to go for low-cost Chinese molding machines. And uh, these machines were like of the same cost of their, their principal competitors, so they began working like at the same level of them. Um, and this was mainly for undercutting their cost and so uh, their prices all over the world. They were less accurate, uh, these machines, but its maintenance was like much more simpler than, than 
than the ones they had before. However, while using them, uh, they had to make many adjustments with the machines and being very careful with them because there was like a cracking risk um, for the products and this led to time delays and also other costs for the company and that's why they began using unloading robots uh, like focusing on automating processes and minimizing these issues so they don't have to uh, incur in, in high, high cost. Um, also, it's important to take into account here the low quality of materials. Um, the company at first, like they were like uh, focusing a lot of on customers and all of that, and because of competition, they began making these kind of actions. But um, the competitors of the company used to do away with labor costs by outsourcing most products finishing uh, from China. And they managed to top all these competitors, managed to lure away some of uh, the longest uh, serving middle managers. So they were like taking the middle managers of the company, the competitors, um, and they obtained of, from the company like their customer list, call details, project designs, and it was very bad for, for, um, for the company. So so they uh, they have like in that part many disadvantages because they began losing more market share uh, the market position was going down in a huge way so uh, what Sampak did was investing in an expensive machine with the same material and it also was uh, needed expensive expensive molds that did not work with other kinds of machines and after did after this um the competitors began to go bankrupt even faster than its growth. So this was like one of the positive things because the company began like acquiring a little more of a little more of market share, like recovering it. Um, but anyway, there are more, there are a lot of more issues like uh, the outsourcing of the company. In many cases, the the company had suppliers, uh, Turkish suppliers, and for many processes, they had to depend. On the suppliers, we also, which also had different troubles, um, which delayed a lot of processes of the company, and they decided like no longer to depend on uh, on the suppliers and work in the things they can produce in their company. So that if they, uh, for example, have um, to to make maintenance to something, to 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 repair something, they can do it in their own factory and they they were talking about working a lot of in, in innovation and that's like the principal thing um, of that outsourcing. Thank you both for your for your arguments and for telling us the story that Sompak lived and here we can conclude very important aspects for your enterprises not to do because even though they wanted to be and to take a very important place in the market they didn't because of uh, wrong decisions they took trying to compete with the Chinese manufacturers what that was the main the main reason they change all these things and they implement the machines and the low quality and the outsourcing and everything uh, my two guests were telling us they tried to go, to do good things but what they did um, not realize uh, what but what they did not realize was that as Maria Paula said cheap was expensive because many times uh, you think that for buying cheapest you can do cheaper and better things, but that not, that's not true. They wanted to use also a very good um, ERP system, but they did not know how, losing time, money and resources. Another important conclusion from this case was that um, if you want to do things, uh, returning to the original market can take years, so it's better for you to take time to take uh, the accurate decisions and not to take wrong decisions in order to need more time to change what you did wrong. It is very important also to know how to manage resources uh, and do it in the best way. So here, knowing a little bit about the, the enterprise, I would like to ask you uh, what was the and remote and the international strategy you as a company used in order to enter to the, to the market. Okay, the international strategy, uh, so they made their final products in Turkey 
uh, so they don't have to outsource uh, with the final product. Um, in, in one period of time, they, they may outsource it, but they generate some problems, as we, we, tell, you, we tell us um, earlier. And, and the competition um, was like trading with any suppliers, uh, but this company uh, could not uh, depend on Chinese, Chinese suppliers because the, the clients, the molds, the molds uh, were designed for each customer, so that, uh, that was the problem. And, uh, okay, that's all. Well, mm, can you tell me about the entry mode? <laughs> well, about the entry mode, um, the principal entry mode uh, that can be identified was like the direct investment. So, uh, in this direct in investment, uh, the company eliminated the intermediaries because of the high cost it had to, like the suppliers and all what we were talking about. Um, also, they reduced times of delivery, and this was this had a lot to do, to do with the automatic automatization of processes. Um, they returned to the, to the original strategy of working a direct way with co with customers. Uh, because this was like the way they could sell better mm. and also the customers did not focus on the relation between low prices and quality and that was like uh, the main things that uh, can, by, can be identified about the entry mobs. Okay, thank you a lot for telling me this. Now um, I will tell the possible problem that I identify and if you, if you have a solution you can tell tell us to our audience in order for them to not to commit uh, these problems. So the main problem here was caused because of the competition of Chinese products uh, as they were telling before and uh, this made them to produce lower quality products in order to compete in price. But um, this led them to take many many wrong decisions and I think that, there was, that it was the main problem of the company, taking wrong decisions because they tried to implement good things but they didn't know how so they they go wrong they went wrong so if can you tell me a possible solution that yeah. you consider mm, i think the company at first need like to need like to be more strong in believing about their products i mean at first they were working good with quality focusing on on, on, the, on that and because of their background and because of the competitive environment they made decisions that were not that correct decisions and then they they knew that focusing on low cost not necessarily means that they will work better or have much more benefits and so I think the first thing is if for them a quality for a was like something that worked, they don't have to um, let that quality away from their enterprise. Um, and the second thing is like um, working a lot in decisions, like maybe if they are sure they have, they have very good ideas and all of that, like make campaigns, uh, capacitations for people and all of that, for all of these ideas uh, reach in such a good way. Yes, I totally agree with you. I think that uh, the company doesn't need to hurry about this uh, decision-making process. Um, and also, if the company wants to uh, have a good place in the market, uh, it needs to do something different, like maybe adding some value to the products. Okay, thank you both for being present today in, in our in our Hortensius TV show. I'm very glad to have you here. Hope you, you can come back in, in another opportunity. And um, we will be talking about other, other things next time, so we will be waiting for you to listen to us um, as all Sundays in our wonderful TV show. Bye! Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you for being here.